Hey, hey, everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, and way early happy Kwanzaa. That doesn't happen until January 1st, but um, we are excited for this broadcast. We have a holiday plate in Payapalooza broadcast for you. We have Jeff joining us from GR Pottery Forms. He is going to show you how to make some plates, and guess what? He made a pie, too. I made a pie just for me, and I made this pie with Jeff's GR Pottery Forms. You can see it's a hex pie plate. They don't always have to be round. And you remember last week when Jeff made that fabulous pie plate? Here it is, glazed, ready to go. Now, this is one he made the same way for me, well, as a demo and gave it to me, at Raku Day at Clay Skates Pottery. And I am gonna be putting my kiln opening up tomorrow and I'll explain all the glazes that I used on this fabulous pie plate, but it's ready and waiting to have some pie put in it. Um, we're going to do this tutorial, and I think we're going to eat some pie. I'll share my pie recipe. I think, I don't know if Jeff's going to share his. I'll put it up later um, after the broadcast ends. And are we giving anything away tonight, Jeff? Are we doing a giveaway tonight? We are. We are. We got a giveaway, we got a giveaway and maybe a, and special, maybe a special promo, but I'll let Jeff tell you all about it. So let's go on over to Jeff in his studio. Hey, Jeff. Happy hey, Jeff. Ho Happy holidays. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good to be back again. And uh, yeah, let's feel like a good old routine. Uh, maybe we should continue into January, right? <laughs> right. We'll just, we just want to stop. It'll be Jess and Jeff every Wednesday. Yeah, yeah totally. Wednesdays with I'm Jess and Jeff. In. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm in for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, um, yeah. So I, I, we missed, um, uh, we kind of got cut off on our, our first January episode of making RD2s, holiday plates. Uh, so I still went along and made the plate, but um, I'm now going to remake those for you and uh, show you. I'm not going to show you with the underglaze transfer because we have some other holiday festivities to do, but this one that kind of quick talk about um, plates, dinner plates, pie plates. And we get all kinds of questions, as you can imagine, all the time about what size plates, which forms to use. And um, people may have seen a video and they're like determined of um, what size plate that is and what type of plate that is. But so it's, I think, good too, just to kind of quickly go over the, the plates. And I had, had a nice conversation with uh, somebody from Canada. And uh, I thought it was just a good reminder of, you know, like there's all these assumptions of uh, in our own minds, including my own, of uh, what we mean, right? And so uh, now that we've added a new series of forms called the RD2s, uh, it now complicates, like if we have a dinner set, a round dinner set. Uh, we have to kind of be more specific on what that really means because we have multiple options. So first one, our standard original three quarter inch thickness, a regular, this is an 11 inch one. And I know that Jess likes to make 11 inch ones. Um, I like to make nine and a half inch ones. Um, Marianne could like to make a, an eight inch one or George likes to make a 12 inch one. So you can pick the size of plate that you want, um, but this is the, the thickness that you uh, are, have the original, original rounds. So in the new year, we're gonna have some kind of variety packs like that might be uh, salad plates and dinner plates. We kind of already have them already, but we're gonna probably push, highlight them, push them a little bit more, kind of let people know about them more. Uh, so, but you still can select the size. And, the size really doesn't matter if you're going to have the play outside of the form or just contained on the form. Hopefully that makes sense. Version two, or one and a half, we'll say, is uh, the half inch slims. So if you wanted to make a nice kind of formal, this one, the slim one is really designed to have an exterior decorative lip. So that's why it's only 10 inches, because. I, and we can only have 10 inch in this, in this slim version. So it's really, you really, if you want to make a larger plate, you have to make a, a lip outside of the wood, outside of the form. 
So those are the slims, really nice. So if you wanna make a China style plate, um, thin porcelain would be a great option. And then third, version two, we're calling it, right? Artie twos, uh, they have a two inch edge and, uh, the, but everything can be contained on the form. And uh, this, is a, this is what I'm gonna make tonight. Here is the nine inch version, finished uh, version. Um, that uh, we're going to have pie on here in a minute. So, but... Uh, is that big enough for your pie? Is, it, is that big enough plate for pie? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, it's kind of like a yeah. coffee, you know, want to have just a nice portion. You can always have seconds or thirds. Two? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we don't want to hog the pie right from the beginning. We got to, you know, make sure everybody else has some first. But, um, yeah, so it's a nice size plate to... Uh, enjoy the pie together. So um, that's that's how I roll anyway. I like to have the, share the enjoyment. So, <laughs> but, um, so I'm gonna use these RD2s are I think gonna be take over as the most popular ones because they, they really create this really nice surface. Jess has made some nice ones um, I've noticed. And uh, it seems when you look at the form on camera or from a photo, or even in person, it looks like a bowl, but it really create, creates this nice delicate plate uh, with just a nice little lip uh, rim on there. So it's uh, it's gonna be gonna be good. So and the the new version, of the second version, comes with two holes, and don't let that. Um, it's an added bonus. It's extra credit. So I know for you overachievers. You love extra credit and you want all your forms to have two holes now. That's really, it's really, um, you can definitely do that. And I can kind of give you suggestions on how to do that, but you really don't need to. It's really kind of waste of uh, drilling. It's gonna, you're gonna, act, your, your forms don't need acupuncture. They don't need extra holes. <laughs> they're, they're good the way they are with one hole. So um, they, but, uh, but yeah. So there's advantages and disadvantages of that, but um, the real reason you need it for this version two is that you can drape your clay over the surface or uh, the whole, you can pre-cut your slab. And then, um, which I highly, I, I would avoid if you don't have to, unless you make this really decorative plate and you're, have been making pottery for 50 years, um, then you can do it that way. But if you haven't done it for 50 years, then I would suggest draping this, draping the clay right over and cutting it after. It's way easier. But anyway, we go, uh, that's, that's uh, my soapbox and uh, we'll talk more about that all, always. So, uh, but anyway, so let me make a plate here. I'm gonna make a holiday plate and, uh, but maybe before I go crazy into that, is there any questions about these three types? <laughs> of forms. Well, folks want to know where you got the underglaze transfer on the plate that you're not going to show how to use the underglaze transfer. <laughs> yes, of course. You knew that. No, it's good. <laughs> it's all good. And um, this particular underglaze transfer, oh no, I'm drawing a blank on the name of the, uh, Jason Burnett. Is that right? Okay. Jason uh, Burnett is an artist. Does he have his own line? Yes. Him and um, cool. Cordova. I can never, I'm sorry, I'm bad with names. Uh, she's a sculptor. Yeah. The two of them yes, have a company yes. that uh, they make underglaze transfers, which I can okay. see Jason. He, he is the surface, surface king. Yeah, he's amazing. Surface queen. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> but yes, but he has an amazing book out. So check it out, Jason Burnett. Uh, that's it's a couple years old now, but it's a wonderful resource. But uh, and then Katie Miller actually designed the pattern for them. So so there's all kinds of fun. Cool. It, here's another one that Katie Miller did too. Um, so. My I buddy, think I found says, it. I think it's, I think it's I S L A Isla transfer. So I S L A. 
Yeah. It's blood transfers. And I haven't seen any like posts. Island, but it's I haven't seen any posts lately from them too. So I'm not sure exactly where they're at in the making transfer world, but I'm pretty sure Jason is at um, at Penland running the, the the shop there. So he's uh he's so he's a busy guy. He's got all kinds of stuff going on. But uh, anyway, that's where it's from. And uh, you know, because Katie, Katie and I are buddies, uh, she sent me some uh, transfers, um, and so I had to put those on there just as a as a as a fun thing. So yeah, so let's get into this here. Oh, sorry, is there any other questions? Because I we're here for you guys. Um, people are excited. They got the, the, their first TR pottery form deliveries come in Friday, so they're gonna have them for the holidays. Super excited. You're gonna love your forms. Um, are you gonna continue to make the original round forms or they, will they be replaced by the RD2 style? That's a good one. No, uh, you know, the thing is if you wanna make bowl shapes or thick shapes, you have to use the original forms. Yes, so you're gonna keep, you're not discontinuing, you're just adding. Yes. More yeah. is better, yeah. just more. Definitely, and you know, it's, um, our best seller is the round, so we wouldn't want to give up those too quick. But they, um, but they work really nice to make a country style plate. Like uh, you know, so there, it has lots of good options too. They're just different options now, right? So, um, it also nice. It kind of if you have a certain type of uh, design you want to implement, the original ones really help to kind of make a nice border for that to kind of develop your kind of your your surface. So yeah, there's lots of advantages of the, of the new ones, but mainly the stacking portion, you have to have a 45 degree angle for it to, to, to really stack with multiple different ones. Um, we could design where there'd be one or two that would, you know, would stack with each other with a different profile, but it'd be pretty complicated to, uh, to tool that then therefore quite expensive. So then you might as well use plaster. So um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so we're we're sticking to what works really well for these forms and uh, kind of going with that. So yeah, slims. We won't get rid of the slims either. I think it's a really nice kind of difference. I'm actually hoping to um, go around in the next year doing plate workshops, uh, showing those, working with those three different styles to kind of. Have you help you decide what works best for you which one which style you like the best so uh yeah so a lot of the the process of making them is the same but uh it's just a different final result so and right. will you be at Inseca this year i sure will it's gonna be a big one it's gonna be uh <laughs> i think grand Grand show. There's lots of fun exhibits happening there. And um, I think a lot of people, it's in an area where people can travel into pretty easily, pretty quickly. So I am definitely going to be there. And uh, we're all going to be there. And uh, I'm yeah, going to miss you guys. I'm so sad. I can't be there. You, you guys are going to have to stream or something. Yes, I know, right? There's going to be some a lot live of streaming. For sure. Yeah, we have to, might have to bring you in again. I think we did that last year. I can year, do that. We? Yeah. Yeah. But I think you might not be quite recovered from Clay Share Con by then, though, right? Because that's almost even better. <laughs> <laughs> Clay, Clay Share Con is coming. We've got uh, only six, uh, eight, wait, seven, eight weeks. I don't know. It's too yeah. close. It's, it's the 23rd yeah. of February, I believe we start. So it's it's coming. That and yeah. that, you'll be back with us for Clay Share Con, definitely. And we'll have yeah. amazing deals from GR Pottery Forms and giveaways. And um, did you hear we're giving away a kiln? Clay really? Share is giving away a kiln. Yes, that's awesome. really. Yep, that is some lucky really nice. uh, Clay Share member is going to get a kiln. Thank you, LNL Kilns. Whoa, LNL. Represent. I know Speedball is going to have to step up and donate an Artista wheel for me to give away now. Oh, I bet they will. No pressure. They're really I great bet they will too. There, so. Yeah, nice I'll be surprise. posting more about Clay Share Con after the holiday. So if you folks yeah. haven't heard about it yet, just hold on. We'll be sharing stuff after yeah. we make merry. Yes. <laughs> for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, and then for the. Uh, I've heard about this other show, um, 
for you Canadians, I know you Canadians always feel left out a little bit. You're like so close, but just like just out of reach, right? But I'm going to a Canadian the uh, um, show, which sounds fantastic. It's called um, the Canadian Clay Symposium. It's in Vancouver, and it's the week after uh, in Sika. Oh. So they have a limited seating. So if you're from Canada and in the West Coast or like traveling to Vancouver, I'd highly suggest getting your tickets for that. So, yeah. All right. I love any it. Other, uh, any other good goodness out there need to address? People are saying take a big suitcase to go if you go to Inseca. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. And lots they of pottery are, to buy, lots of tools to buy. Yeah, so much. So I, I, so I always bring an extra suitcase, always, because you buy right. too much stuff. Um, if you can drive, just drive. Put it in your car because you'll fill it up. That's right. That's what happens? Um, there was a question. Do you plan to expand these new RD two forms outside of the two shapes you have now, the two sizes? Do you plan to make more in the I coming so. months, yeah. years? We've had a yeah. pretty good uh, response. I kind of would like to see a little more response. So um, I think we will, uh, you know, kind of address that in the new year. And I have some ideas already, obviously, for some sizes. But um, yeah, kind of like it's really, I think, good for me to have some good feedback before we jump into too much. We really have a lot of um, a lot of other shapes and a lot of other things that are work really nice. So um, I don't want to just have a zillion options so it's, it's hard to kind of air that down as it is so yeah yep 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 so let me hear your uh commentary anytime hopefully i'll see you uh before maybe uh maybe even by yeah maybe by clay con maybe would be a good time to have a couple new new ones huh that would be fun it's a, it would be a good opportunity to debut them Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, All right, we so, might have to see if we can't get you up here to Vermont, Jeff, sometime ooh. in 2023. Yeah. Maybe the second half of the year. Definitely. Let's see. Definitely, definitely. We'll have to talk about that. Yes, for sure. You know me, Ed. I travel. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. So what's the best way for people to reach you if they want to give you feedback? Um... Ah, oh, the best is uh, Instagram or this emailing me directly, Jeff at GR, GR Pottery Forms. Um, yep, that is usually the best. All right, I'm going to make this little holiday plate. All right, this make it. Wonderful stamp from uh, uh, Deb De La Cruz, my, my buddy Debbie. Um, she makes these wonderful stamps. So this one says Believe. One of my favorite movies. Um, and I don't know if, uh, I don't know why, uh, you know, we all have our favorite Christmas movies. It's kind of a Christmas conversation, right? So uh, one of my favorites ones, and it was actually written by uh, a local person here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And it's the Polar Express. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorites, um, especially this believe part, right? So, uh, yeah. So we're making this nice little plate says stamped on there. It says believe. And I think that's the great thing about using slabs is that you can use all different kinds of stamps and all kinds of options to uh, have a message on there, right? And so I really like this uh, leave message. So this will be a nice yeah. Christmas plate. I want to add guess, that believe transcends the holidays though. So you can definitely. make it and use it now, but it's good all year long, right? The yeah. message is true. Yeah. And as easy as these forms are to make, you can make hundreds of them. You sure can. I have. <laughs> yeah. Literally, I did one exhibition where I made 106 plates for it, and they all hung on the wall. So um, 
took about six weeks, but you can do it. Yes. I don't think I told, I've told anybody. I tried to get my wife, Gretchen, to come on here. So why not tell the, the Clayshear family? You're, you're the family. I can tell you. On December 13 of this year, which was like a week ago, exactly a week ago, um, was 20 years ago when Gretchen and I got engaged. Um, oh, congratulations. So, <laughs> so she's been, but anyway, and if you have, if you go to some of my workshops, I always tell the story of, people always ask how this started, how GR Power Reform started. And a big part of that reason it started was I wanted to make a plate for everybody coming to our wedding. And we invited 425 people to the party. So my 2023 journey, because our anniversary is in July, uh, I am going to make 300 plates, 325 plates, like I said I was going to for the wedding 20 years ago. And anybody that comes to our anniversary party will get a plate. So there's, there you go. There you go, fam. That, that's the deal. You got to come to the party. Yep. There's your market calendar. July 5, 2023, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Buy your plane tickets now. Get your hotel reservations. You can get a plate just for showing up. I don't have, I don't have anything planned for July. All right. <laughs> we have nice fireworks here. You know. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to quick make this plate and then, <laughs> that's and then nice. we get to the pie, right? <laughs> All right. It's always about the pie. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I must have drank too much coffee because I'm kind of uh, <laughs> rambling on of random Extra things. Extra right? peppy. Yes. Oh man, I save I save my coffee for the right moment every day. And you guys are <laughs> you guys get the benefit of the, the right moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So I just drank as you saw. I did a little flip. I like flipping, flip, flip, because uh, less kind of wear on the clay and also it um, kind of helps me to position the clay where I want it to be. But there's so many factors involved in, a few people, we just had a, some uh, comments on uh, one of our recent posts about um, warping and all this bad stuff, right? But it's Christmas. We don't want to talk about the bad stuff right now. But but uh, clay is pretty tricky, right? And um, so we need all these different tricks and solutions. So we're going to, right at the beginning of the year, we're going to do a, a live about some of those things to kind of help help your clay from not, not having un, unwanted movement. We'll, we'll call that, instead of uh, warping, unwanted movement, right? Um, so it's a... Uh, so I, I just thought of that because one of the things is uh, is uh, if we we don't move that clay around uh, as much, it's less likely to uh, kind of move on its own. So yeah. So while I'm making this, what we're going to give away later is um, uh, one of these RD two sets. That's what the winner is going to win. Let's see. Woohoo! That's a good prize. Yeah. And then they can make plates like this. Yes. And uh, okay, so I just set my little sew tool for two and a half because I'm going to look for a five inch uh, diameter foot. I think we're on the overhead screen there. So. You can see that if I put my tool down, if I put it off center, it makes a little ring. So I just have to move my sew tool into the middle where it doesn't make a ring, it just makes a dot. And then I can just set my tool down and make some mark of where my foot is going to be. And I, I purposely have this measurement about five inches so that it, uh, that I, I can repeat it over and over again. So 
So now I'm going to cut a foot here really quick. And uh, this is a little bit of the tricky part. So if you're new to this, it's going to take some practice. Don't worry. And if you're having a real difficult time with it, you can use um, you can use a foot cutter, foot maker. And uh, yeah, you put that right on there. I think it's funny. I, I don't know if you saw in the Ceramics Monthly, uh, Kevin from uh, Sim made a, a new foot maker. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, you have to check it out. It's yellow. It's got I'm gonna a foot maker to. on the bottom and a, a, a foot compression groove on top. Oh, interesting. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's free market, you know. Everybody's got, a, right. got to take their when they can. All right. So now you see I just put the foot on there loosely, right? Actually, it looks pretty centered by the camera. It's a little bit off, but uh, I'm going to put that back on here. So now I'm going to take my wet sponge. Don't tell us that. It looks perfect. <laughs> and now... <laughs> I'm gonna first kind of push down. Oh, here, I gotta stop here. One thing that's remind me, um, sponge, wet. Uh, it's really, especially if you're a potter that uses a sponge when you're throwing, and just because we're using a wheel, doesn't mean we should, like when we're compressing the slab and forming the slab, I would highly recommend not using a sponge because uh, what that's gonna do is gonna cause that moisture to get into the mold quicker than we want to, to form or cause all these other problems with releasing. So try the clay is used to nice wet fresh clay and then avoid the sponge until you need to have to use it to maybe clean up the edges or in this case to have my fingers slide through so that helps me to develop this foot. So I'm going to start by Pushing from the inside, my inside finger, that will put, put, the, put the slab or the little trip of clay in center. And then once it's in the center, then I can just press down or press from the outside to uh, shape that little piece of clay. And this may seem intimidating and it may be tricky at the, the first couple tries, but really this is the fun part, like uh, um, I think in my mind. This is one of my favorite parts is adding a foot on there because you can just with a little bit of pressure and pressure from one angle at a time, you can develop this nice, uh, nice foot ring. And it's so much more, it has so much more benefit to, to have a foot ring than to just uh, do it without a foot. I know it you all. Know, Want to make plates without a foot, but just think about if you were walking without a foot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you make your plate feel good here. They they need feet. <laughs> I'm a big fan of feet, just mm -hmm. you know, on plates and stuff. Yeah. Yes, it helps for so many purposes. So now I'm going to just kind of clean that up. I like to sometimes add a little mark in there just for a little design for the ladies to kind of do its thing. There we go. You need to say two at the yeah. end. Oh, that's right. This was the, I forgot. This is the one, two. <laughs> yep. Yes, and then we lift right from underneath here, lift it up off from our board, our attachment here, and bam, 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 bam. All right, that's emeralds. Uh, emeralds is one of my fav faves, so uh, he, he is uh, definitely influence of the, of the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So. 
thing is you want to have enough forms. You want the to be able to make as amount of uh, places you can in one setting. So yeah. Anybody have any questions about that? Folks have gotten their RV2 forms and they're excited to use them. So there's a lot of people who've ordered them and they're just waiting. Um, so here's a good one. Any recommendation for protecting the molds when using underglaze transfers so it doesn't pick up the color? I like to just use the, under, leave the underglaze transfer. For, for the forms, I think it, it's real easy to do. Then the, um, I don't know about other shapes, but with the form is great to just leave that rice paper trans, the rice paper right on there. Um, maybe, I don't really know for, um, if you're using like tissue transfer, underlays transfer with tissue paper, that may be a little bit different, but with the rice paper, it's a really thin, more, more common one, easier one. Um, that one, I you can definitely, uh, you can definitely use the, just leave right on there. Um, otherwise, if you don't want to do that, the other option would be is to um, just let it set up for a bit um, before you put it on there. Because really, it's just that needs that and that clay hasn't absorbed into, or that uh, underglaze hasn't absorbed into the clay yet. So just I've make sure a that trick yeah. for that. So. So you put your underglaze transfer on and then you pull it off your slab of clay and it's a little wet, just take a tiny bit of cornstarch and dust the surface with cornstarch. Either sprinkle it on or dust it on with a brush. Just a very thin layer. It'll quickly dry up that moisture and then you can just use your clay right away without it transferring. There you go. I've, done a, I've done some with Jeff's forms with underglaze transfers recently. Actually, I think we did some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, and then the cornstarch kind of absorbs all that extra moisture that's kind of what's allowing it to transfer, right? So, yeah, yeah. I I am, uh, the, although for me, cornstarch is like gold. <laughs> yeah. We can make pies with, uh, with the Well, with, that's uh, true. Cornstarch. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need the cornstarch for the pie. People want to know if they can win the pie. People want to win your pie. You know, I thought about, um, what do you guys think? <laughs> I could give away the pie plate. The, the think? plate, the pie is in. I yeah. Mean, you can do that. People would like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I have another one right here. Ready to go. There you go. Let's do it. All right, we'll, we'll do a, a pie plate. Uh, uh, we only have one. We are giving a prize away of the RD2 forms, but I don't have a second winner pick. That's okay. Well, the, this is Christmas. The what, winner what gets it's double Christmas. prizes. Oh, is that what we're going to do? The winner gets, okay, you get both. Yeah. All right, that's, whoever wins the forms, get the pie plate. To, you get it all. You get the whole shit. Yeah. You get everything. All right. Yeah. Uh, a question about that rice paper transfer. Do you need to re-wet it before you take it off? Do you re-wet it before you take it off? No, no, I don't. No, me no. Yeah, no. And actually it works out really nice. You know, for my, my good Dutch heritage, it's good that I get all of the underglaze to transfer too, uh, usually that way. It usually doesn't go back the other way, back onto the transfer paper. So it's really nice to uh, be able to uh, get the full detail, the full use of that underglaze. It works out pretty good, and if you have a pretty deep, a pretty deep um, bowl, you can make slits in the in the underglaze transfer before you put it on, so then it uh, will fold nicely. So, uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna just keep making this other one while we talk, but uh, yeah, just keep just keep making. People have questions, now's your chance to ask. Just type them in. Yep. I'll ask Jeff, he'll answer it for you. And, uh, you know, all the questions that you wanted to ask. I have a question for you, um, Jess. Is, what are you hoping yep. for for Christmas from Kevin? <laughs> a banding wheel. <laughs> oh, oh no. banding wheel. Oh, so, man. 
so from so I want easy. a new studio foundation. Oh. So I want the foundation <laughs> to be finished for my studio, but I don't think it's Kevin. I have to ask. It's it's like Santa. It's somebody yeah. bigger out there. The word that, that requires the a bigger miracle. Um, but I, but I'm kind of sad because I think it's not going to happen. I think pouring concrete, our temperatures are going to be so cold. I think it's just going to be stuck half done until spring. Uh -huh. I get to look at an empty foundation oh, for four man. months. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. You never know. There are such things as Christmas miracles. Yes. But I, I, I asked Kevin for a new banding wheel. Uh, uh -huh. You know, exciting things. It's mm -hmm. the Shimpo uh, tall one. It's the tall banding wheel. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I have a couple low ones, but I want the tall one. Oh, that's yeah. What I want. That's it. That's what I got. I mean, how about you? I, you I have even easier Christmas? than Kevin. I, oh, I could pick on him. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I don't Kevin. even, Brett and I don't even exchange gifts. <laughs> you don't? No. <laughs> So I, won't ask. I haven't gotten her one yet. We usually don't. Uh, so. and, and, and Kevin said he didn't get you anything this year, Jeff. So oh, I'm oh, sorry. Man. I'll, I'll, I'll send you I'll send you something. I feel better. Oh. I'll send, I, I can send you a couple of little. I got some things I can send you. Oh, good. I'm oh, good. Okay, now Kevin's got an idea. He's coming up with stuff. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we got a clay question. Will it hurt uh -huh. the form to leave the clay on it overnight? No, unless you use a sponge. If you use a sponge, um, then you're going to be, then, no, this season. Um, I'm putting out uh, rumors, not really rumors, it's my soapbox. But uh, no, I think the, it's been amazing for me, the um, using of myself that, uh, if you use, if you let the clay on there overnight, it uh, and then you let them dry for a good six to eight hours or overnight the next night, they would be they're great. Um, this only becomes a problem if they're the clay was super wet. You immediately cover it, and then you leave it under the plastic for like a couple weeks. Then you're gonna have problems. So, if you just uh, you know. Uh, let it overnight, and that's usually the case, right? It's because I think that's normal course of action to uh, to have that uh, um, yeah, you know, they have to wait till the next day, so but yeah, it works out I, good. I so, often, so I, I have been using your forms for five or six years for a long time, and I have, I always leave my clay on almost exclusively overnight just because of the way my studio is it's so humid yeah. and mm -hmm. i have forms that i first forms i got from you that i've been using all those years and they're perfectly fine i, I mean a, eventually things need to get replaced because that's the nature of life right but yeah. there is there is a, a long um long wear long yeah. wearing i really am very surprised actually and uh no, because it's a vulnerable material, and it um, it can definitely can get easily damaged if you uh, don't care for it well. But um, it's also pretty remarkable. I mean, the other proof in the in it is that contractors are using it mainly to make make trim and stuff around bars um, or wet areas, like in bathrooms and stuff like that. So it does. It's kind of made and designed to um, be able to long periods of time handle moisture. So, Would yeah. you recommend cleaning the forms or if uh, someone had to clean them, say they got some under glaze transfer on it? Um, how would you clean them? Yeah, if, especially I think the worst case scenario is if you get uh, mold growing on them. I just use Dawn dish soap and put that on a sponge and then just kind of wash, you know, scrub the form a little bit and then rinse it off and then let it dry. So don't put them in your dishwasher or uh, <laughs> let them soak in your sink. <laughs> but, uh, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, no, definitely it's, uh, and I, I really like, it's amazing. 
like I don't really clean my tools very often either. Um, because I think the clay is that natural kind of resist too as well. So a lot of times by having a little bit of clay particles on there from the previous time, you can uh you can uh it'll be ready, ready for you for the next time. So All right. One thing, um, this plate, it's the outside is 12 inches, but the diameter of this foot is only eight. So it qualifies for me to, to not put a center ring in there. So, yeah. So, all right. Do so the forms have any finish on them? So do your wear boards or do your forms have any finish already applied to the surface? No. No, and you really don't want the finish. That's really the beauty of the material is that raw kind of porous wood that is, will absorb a little bit of moisture, but not enough to start to decompose the wood. There's enough uh, bonding agents in the, in the wood particles to uh, resist that wood. So you would recommend not treating them with anything? Definitely not. Somebody. Definitely yeah. not. No, that is the advantage of the forms. And so, otherwise, you might as well go buy plastic bowls from uh, from uh, the dollar store, and uh, they'll be cheaper. And um, so, because the thing is, the thing is, the material that is the main purpose of using this material is because it will uh, release the clay really well. So, yeah. So otherwise. You know, plastics are way cheaper than than wood. So, um, so if uh, if you didn't, uh, if you wanted to like coat it, then you might as well use another material. So, yeah. Question about the rim you're making. Did, what angle did you cut that rim, or press your finger in to make that rim? You made a little bit of an angle when you cut. That yeah. Rim. So I yeah, I think it's really important how you hold that. Good question how the angle that you hold your knife on. Um, so I want it to be pretty well perpendicular to the edge. So it creates a nice kind of flat edge on there, right? So, um, and then I push the edge down, back down a little bit with a sponge. Um, so it uh, kind of softened it up. So really the only thing I need to do with this plate after it sits and dries on here for four to six, 48 hours is, um, is maybe clean that in the the inside edge underneath here that I can't really get to yet. Sometimes there's a little bit of sharp edge on there, and I can just kind of trim that off when it's leather hard. So, all right. Yeah, it's almost it's, pie time. It's pie time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. I have a pie. I made pie. <laughs> yes. So we, I'm ready. So when we had this conversation, when we uh, talked about this, um, this, I guess I don't know which uh, camera angle there from the front, then maybe um, yeah, is, the the, is uh, we talked about like, it's the holidays. What kind of holiday spirit can we bring to everybody? And then we talked about making, um, Cocktail recipes, but uh, you know, I I definitely like cocktails. I but I like cocktails when I'm with other people. I'm not a like go home and make myself a cocktail every night kind of person, but um, I definitely like you know having dinner with people and having cocktails for sure. Um, but what I might do on my own is eat a slice of pie. <laughs> so I would so, definitely eat a slice of pie on my own, or or yeah. half the pie. Yeah, I mean, so, it, it can happen. So Jeff's got his pie. And I are, are we doing split? Oh, we got a fancy thing. Yeah, we got you yeah. there. We're doing split screen, Jeff. We're both on it. Oh, good. Yay. So, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your pie. Mm, All right. Look at that pie. So the kudos to my mom. She is the pie maker. I made this, though. I actually made this. I have proof. You made that pie? I made it. Can you believe it? I was so happy. I'm very impressed. And I want <laughs> to let everybody know out there 
I do like to cook and bake and all that fun stuff, but you can do it too. You just have to be confident. If you think about failure, you will not succeed. <laughs> Are you going to share your pie recipe? Yes. Yeah. Yay. All right. Oh. So I'll have you send it to me and I'll, I'll put it up on the clay share boards and stuff. Yeah, um, definitely. So there's, yeah. okay, good. Go ahead. Oh, good. Cause you're going to share yours too, right? Of course, absolutely. Mine's easy. So, I don't think I even said mine's a, co mine's a coconut cream. Um, <gasps> I love coconut cream pie. It's my favorite pie. So, yes. Is it, is it your favorite pie too? So do we share it, the it, same favorite pie? Yes. And uh, yeah. my mom makes a lot of different kinds, but um, coconut cream is definitely the, you know, just got that little extra and not everybody likes with the meringue cream, piled but. that high but you got it you got that meringue way up there I yeah that's pretty good. good you did pretty you did well you did very well i didn't look at that yeah oh yeah that's nice yeah that's a nice height that's i even had to like knock it, it down some it was a little Ooh, bit uh, i think i might have um i might have uh, lifted a little <laughs> like bit too pat much it down with a spatula a little bit yes yeah make it nice and smooth mm. and what did you what kind of pie did you make yeah I made a chocolate pie Ooh. and my whipped cream kind of melted a bit. So you can see it's oozing. It's actually dripped all over the table. Um, oh. <laughs> but it's gluten free and a gluten free pie crust that I made too. So I was, you know, Ooh, yeah. this is a, you don't have to, you can, you can make pie crust any kind, but it's a no bake, which is nice because Ooh. I do make uh, amazing maple bourbon pecan pie that is I've great. heard that's Kevin's um, favorite right that's that's Kevin's favorite and I do a really nice French apple pie and I do you know I do a lot of pies but um this is nice because it's pretty quick and easy and almost everybody loves chocolate so you can't go wrong with a chocolate pie no um can I show a plate but I just took this out of the kiln this afternoon this is a plate I made on the Ooh. rd2 form well, this is the nine inch. You you can't see it. Oh, no, sorry. But yeah. yeah, because I'm. Uh, you'll have to wait a sec. I'll show it to the side. Don't worry. And so <laughs> it's it's a scraffito. So I carved it. But look at the hat. It came out sweet. I'll show Jeff. There you go, Jeff. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice. Is that a scraffito pattern? You said. Yeah, it's a scraffito. So I carved that, and then I did another one, a little different, uh, little for the folks at home. So I do love this curve because um, when I'm doing scraffito, oftentimes if there is an edge, like an inside edge and you hit that when you're carving, it can interrupt your line and it makes it a little difficult to carve like beautiful seamless designs. You can carve through it, but you hit that line and it does kind of change the design a little bit. So Definitely. with these, oh, I did the big ones too, but they haven't, they didn't fit in the kiln. But I've got some more that I'm working on. And I just love it. I, I'm in love with these forms. So thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a, like a great advantage, right? Is that another, like um, having that, that design go to the edge because the... Um, oh, definitely. Definitely. Like you said, so, definitely, definitely you know, different angle. Yeah. Um, I didn't bring them up, but I have some scraffito done on your spherical square forms. And oh, yeah. you know the traditional ones, and it's still great. But you can, you know, you can see the the line. This one we have no line, so both are fabulous. Yeah, I would love to see your um, <clears throat> your veteran plates on those too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Was, oh yeah, they it'll be. I saw very your, nice uh, for those. I saw your ad, ad in the um, one of the magazines for you when you're maybe did that already happen. Where you're the curator? Uh, no, so there is, yeah, Dutch. I'm the juror for an sure. exhibition called Fired On. It's going to be at Saratoga Clay Art Center. The deadline yeah. is January 13th, 2023 to apply. If you work with decals or transfers at all in your work, you are eligible to enter. So go to saratogaclayarts.org and you can apply awesome. and I'm the juror. And I will be at the opening uh, reception May 6th. So if Ooh. go ahead and apply doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt to apply put your work in there jeff you can Definitely. apply that's a good that's a good reason to uh <laughs> a good way yeah. to kind of uh make 
make your um, a good deadline to get you to motivated to make something yes. and finish and, and all that. And you got time, uh, especially yeah. with these forms. I made this, um, made the plate maybe two weeks ago. I actually made it on the form, carved it last week, fired it Monday. So it just yeah. came out of the kiln today. Two mm -hmm. weeks. So if you have been thinking about making something, you totally have time for that deadline. You get three weeks. So another little plug. Um, I've got when you see the art. Hi, did you? Sorry, I cut some already. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Sh oh, Shelby was wondering. No, she <laughs> She's a coconut cream fan too. So it's still warm. It's still warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I'm jealous. I'm not there. Oh, uh, we'll send, I'll send so it to you. I, uh, that, that's right. Toss it in a box. So this is a technically a pie plate. It's a mini pie plate. I wanted to mm -hmm. share just a little guy. Um, and it would make a, a cute little personal pie if you wanted to, or you can use it to eat bigger pies. So you can have a set, right? So this pie plate I made using your hex forms. I can't mm. really show very well because uh, mm -hmm. it's got whipped cream dripping all over the place. Um, <laughs> usually I have clay dripping everywhere in the studio, but today we're having whipped cream. So I'm gonna cut into this and uh, let's see what happens. Jeff already cut into his. Yeah. So the thing about the hexagons is you get a predetermined where to slice. Like, you know, oh, you get you know X pierce. amount of slices. That's if you have a lot of you brothers have... or um, cousins that you <laughs> gotta make the right size plate pie right? for everybody. Yeah. Now, normally this pie this pie is kept chilled and right before you serve it, you take it out. It's been sitting oh, yeah. out for about a little bit a little bit of while. Not not too yeah. much, but I'm going to scoop it out. I don't know. It might just make a mess and go everywhere, though. <laughs> I'm wondering how you're going to wrap that bourbon maple pie for Kevin for Christmas. You're going to give him that? Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> oh, I am going to make it for Christmas. Gonna wrap it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it for Christmas Day. It's a, very, ah. it's, it's a good pie. I mean, it's right up there in one of my top pies. So I'll show. Cut it. There is chocolate in here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. chocolate oh yeah somewhere under all of that it's a big pie this is a huge yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right how is your is your pie good oh it's fantastic i haven't been reading the comments i'm apologizing that's too big that's way too big to eat on camera if i was by myself i might just mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow it's very good. Kevin, do you want a piece? You have to come over here and get it. I mean, I'll cut it for you. <laughs> I, I made like Lazy's plates, these uh, pie plates last night and then made the pie this Yeah, you were telling me. That. But uh, this was kind of, it's kind of the one that I made. You can see how, remember I talked about making those little dots on the bottom? Yeah, your little so pegs. Sit on there, little yeah, wads, pegs. Yeah. This has interesting orange peel thing on the bottom. I think it's I've because had that it's, happen. I'm thinking it's because this glaze on the inside was really thick and the clay isn't very thick. So the heat from the <laughs> the heat from the clays above made the bottom kind of like I got, cool. I got whipped cream all over. <laughs> <laughs> this this is what happens. In the studio when you try to eat pie my goodness is it good yeah so um i'll tell everybody quickly what i did for the crust i used chocolate checks cereal because it's gluten-free and you you i'll put the recipe up but i put in the food processor and i mixed it all up and then i added melted butter to it and pressed that crust in so it's super easy you just need cereal uh, and you can use any cereal you want. I use gluten-free because I'm gluten-free, but you don't have to. And then for the filling, it was three boxes of Jello instant pudding, chocolate fudge flavored, but you pick any flavor you want. And I got three of the small boxes. And then oh. you, I did five cups of milk, mixed it uh -huh. up, poured it in, oh. let it sit. And then you can make whipped cream from scratch if you want to use heavy whipping cream and whip it up with some confectionery sugar or you can go ahead and buy like Cool Whip and put whip, yeah. Cool Whip on it and make it easy on yourself, right? 
but then you put it in the fridge and let it chill and that's it you eat it so yeah i'm making such a mess i'm i'm making i'm glazing next so i'll be a sticky glazer written recipe out there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. the um the crust is like a butter crisco and flour basically yeah, you were telling me about that. And it makes two crusts, <laughs> but, um, and I would want to say, you'll see it on that line, hopefully, but um, it, my mom wrote it out, my mom's writing, and it's mm -hmm. on this kind of flag mm -hmm. on top of the recipe, and it says support our, our vets. Um, uh, so I, I thought that. it was a little extra bonus for you guys um, as so... well. So <laughs> my mom's a big supporter, <laughs> me too, but. So, you know, you could take a photo of your mom's handwritten recipe and mm -hmm. you could make a decal of it and fire it on a pie plate. And then mm -hmm. you would have a keepsake because you would have a plate that you made with your yep. mom's handwritten recipe on the inside. Totally, totally. Um, I'm all for that. Jan January, uh, we're going to have our sponsor is going to be a woman who is Ceramic Picks. C E R I. Oh. Have you heard of them? C E R I. Do they do like decals? And stuff? M I picks. Yes, ceramic picks. I've had too yeah. much pie. I, I can't spell. <laughs> um, but she's going to be joining us for January. And I already have a class where you can learn how to make your own decals and put your recipes on things. But we're going to do more of that next year, coming Ooh. in January. So it's going to be oh, that's a great really fun. Thing. So make your make your pie plates now, folks, so you have them ready to put your recipes and things on it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna we've got a folks like the banding wheel as a pie stand. Yes, it double duty here, folks. <laughs> and one two here. So. I'm seeing if there's any. Uh, did you use a blowtorch on your meringue? I just know the rest. This recipe just has you put it in the oven for um, at 325 for. Uh, it's oh. actually Better Homes and Gardens uh, cream pie recipe. So it wasn't actually my mom's uh, cream recipe, but um, the pie crust was hers. But um, but yeah, no. So I just the oven just kind of naturally browns it. So. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, I'm going to try it. Yes. Uh, folks who are asking about my maple bird bourbon pecan pie recipe, it's already out there. Um, <laughs> it's on Clayshare Resources. If you go to the blog under Clayshare Resources, you'll see it. I shared it there. I don't know where else we've put it. I think on Clayshare under forums. Don't we have recipes like kitchen recipes? Clayshare Kitchen. Didn't we start that? So we have the clay share kitchen section where folks share recipes because you're going to make pots uh, what you put in your pots you're going to eat food in your pot you have a you know cute serving dish aren't you going to put some food in there so you want to have food recipes to go along right yeah it's all so purpose. everybody shares yeah yeah help to uh, serve that food <laughs> it's in the clay share kitchen forum on clayshare.com so I've got <laughs> such a mess. So I think we're gonna give away the RD2, the Watt, the RD2 forms and the pie plate. Yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. price. Yeah. Yeah. RD2. Yes. RD2 yeah. variety oh, wait. Is this the name? Did you give me names? There's names over here. Are they in order? They were in my dish. Well, they're all in the dish now. I messed it up because we're giving away mini rollers in the next broadcast. And Kevin picked the names. And all three of them were sitting here. So I just grabbed um, He's going to have to come. He's going to have to come look. <laughs> Who can oh, see win. pie plate? We'll give it to everybody. <laughs> all right. Uh, Jeff, is there a special going on? Do you have a promo happening today? Use the, oh, use it's the code. Little. Yeah, if you just type in clay share, you'll get 10% off, like you usually do. But for awesome. some of the sizes, we have lowered the price online uh, 10% as well. Sale, sale, sale. All right. So, so you, you get, get 10 and a little extra. 
But yeah, you got to hurry on those because Christmas they're going back to regular price, which is a couple days oh, away. So. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, here's the thing. We know a lot of us aren't going to get what we want for Christmas. So treat yourself for something and get something you know you want. So get yourself some GR Pottery Forms. Um, you know, if you're not a member of Clayshare yet, you can sign up. You can wait till Christmas Day. And if you don't get a membership to Clayshare as a gift, gift yourself one. And, and, and then you'll get access to hundreds of classes, thousands of videos, awesome offers and discounts and special giveaways and uh, so many fabulous things. Plus our Clayshare community um, where we hang out with Jeff and other fabulous folks. All right. So we're going to give away the RD2 form set and one of Jeff's handmade pie plates. That's a really big prize. That one right there. The winner is Rosemary Bachelor. Rosemary Bachelor, congratulations. You, my dear, are going to get yourself some forms and a pie plate, which is a smoking Ooh. deal, I think. Woohoo! Congrats, congrats. Yeah. All right. You are it's like the only one well, finished yeah. this year. That's that. That's right. Uh, oh, no, no. I glazed your other one. You made. True. Yes, that's true. One of one of two. So you saw Jeff made this last week. Saw this form get made last week. I glazed it, and here it is. Ooh, -hoo. Ooh I. So I just took it out of the kiln this afternoon, or I would have made my pie in it. My pie is a cold refrigerator pie. It would have been very bad to put the hot plate in the cold with the cold pie. So next time, Christmas <laughs> pecan pie. I will make my maple bourbon pecan pie in this for Christmas and take pictures and I'll share it with everybody. Ooh. Okie dokie. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for being a sponsor for this month. It's been a joy as always. I love hanging out with Jeff. I'm only sad oh. we're not together in the studio. That exactly. we're separated we're by all these miles. but. Yes. But we'll catch up at some point in 2023. I want to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy the holiday. Take some downtime. Decompress. Right? Thank you, you guys, too. Yeah, totally. Eat some good food. Yeah, it's good family and, time. Uh, I'll, and I'll out there. catch up with you after the holiday for ClayshareCon, right? Yep. I think that's next. Yes. That sounds good. It is next. All right, everybody, go to grpotteryforms.com. Check out what Jeff has. Pick yourself up. Regret it. And you'll be making your own pottery plates, bowls, trays, platters, and all kinds of good things coming in 2023. All right. Next, we are going to be doing a glazing party, holiday glazing party. The ornaments we made a few weeks ago, we're going to be glazing tonight. And Kevin's going to come over here on this side of the table and join me. And you're going to get to see Kevin glaze. So that'll be fun. That alone is worth the price of admission. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be giving away, I assume, two of these mini rollers. No? One. One. I don't know. There's two more names. I don't know what's Those happening. Were Those were last week's names. Nobody tells me anything. I just work here. What do I know? <laughs> All right. So we're going to be giving away uh, one mini roller and uh, talking about stuff. All right, everyone. Be well. Take care. Have a very happy holiday season, and I will catch everybody in 2023. Bye, everyone.